Hello. If your friends are having trouble hearing you on Skype, we'll help you get it fixed in no time. When you talk into a microphone, the sound is carried across the internet and played through your friend's speakers. So if you're having sound trouble, it's usually because of a problem with the microphone or the speakers. The good thing is, you don't have to be Einstein to sort it out. First of all, open Skype. Find Skype test call in your contacts and press the call button. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. Follow the simple instructions and record a message. Then stay on the line so you can hear it played back. If you can hear your message, your microphone's working fine and the problem's more than likely to be your friend's speakers. Just send them to skype.com forward slash support. Tell them to search for call quality and they can find out how to fix it. If you heard the test call voice prompts, but you didn't hear the message you recorded, here's what you need to do. 1. If you have an external microphone, make sure it's plugged into the correct socket on your computer. This usually means putting the mini jack into the pink socket. Sometimes the port on the back of your desktop computer is more reliable than the one at the front. 2. Check your microphone isn't on mute. If you're using a headset, it might have a mute switch either on the side or on the cable that connects to your computer. 3. Check that Skype is using the correct microphone. In the main menu, select Tools, Options, Audio Settings, and look to see if the correct microphone is selected from the drop-down list. You can also tick this box to automatically adjust your microphone settings. You'll know it's working if the green volume meter moves when you speak into the microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. You can also turn the microphone volume up or down by using this slider. Four, finally go back to your contact list and try the Skype test call again. We hope you found this useful. If it wasn't what you were looking for, visit skype.com forward slash support and simply search for call quality for more help and advice.